everybody and welcome back to she shaves with your host jill yep that's me i'm jill so oh my god what a busy week i've had uh some of you know my regular viewers know that my sister and my niece are here from idaho quarter lane idaho beautiful area and they're here for a two-week visit they got in last wednesday and monday we went to uh one of the disney parks the magic kingdom and we had a blast i'm too old I could barely make it through. We were there for 12 hours, and oh my God, we caught all of the the favorite rides, and that was a blast. I loved it, and my birthday was actually yesterday, too, so they were here to help, but we were out running errands and having some fun, and we went to my hairdresser, and I got my hair cut, and my sister got her hair cut. And then we went to CVC because I said, you know, or CVS. I said, you know, I, I need to get my pneumonia shot because I had one five years ago. So what happened? I had the shot and shots, vaccines very rarely affect me, but it made me drowsy. And by the time we got home after doing some other stuff, I was so tired and I lay down and take a nap. So we didn't even go out for dinner or anything like that. But we're going to make up for it tomorrow and the rest of the week. And then on uh, Monday, we're going to another Disney park, Animal Kingdom, which I've never been to Animal Kingdom yet. So I've got my fast passes and everything for that set up, the first three. And then after that, you can get one fast pass at a time. So my niece said, this time, Aunt Jill, she says, I'm going to rent you a wheelchair so I can push you so you're not so weary at the end of the day. <laughs> but I do have a bad back, third, fourth, and fifth vertebrae, so... Uh, I'm so proud that I even made it through 12 hours at the park. So in any case, I want to try to make this quick because they're still here and they're out in the living room. And I'm going to do a shave tonight. And what I'm going to do, let, let me give you a little background on, on the uh, razor that I'm going to be um, reviewing tonight. It's going to be the um, Yaki, the DLC Open Comb. And this is lavender. Uh, Paul H. did one on a blue one, which is identical to this. The only difference is this is a lavender one. And I got this because when I ordered my Yaki Rainbow Pride brush, it took over a month and it still wasn't here. And it's like, what the hell? So I contacted the vendor and I said, what's up? And he said, oops. He said, some, you know, I looked up the tracking and it said delivered and it was a New York address. I live in Florida. So I said, what the hell is up with this? And he said, well, I don't know what happened. It accidentally got sent to the wrong address. I'll send you another one out. So it was another month wait. And he says, let me make it up to you. So he said he would send me that Yaki DLC open comb razor so that's how i acquired that so that was a good gesture on his part to make it right because i'm all about customer service if he would have just said oh sorry about that you another brush is on the way you know i would not have been a happy puppy he would have been given a bad review but in this case and i'll post the link down below um he came through and i think it was a it was worth the wait then to, to get this razor because I have used it once. Um, I used a, uh, I used my uh, DR Harris Marlboro soap that I like and I'm trying to use finish up. And I used an Astro Blade on the fifth use and it was a great shave. It was great. It was really great. So let me get done here. Now, um, regular viewers know how I prep my face. I take a, a rag in as hot a water as I can stand and hold it there until it gets cold. And I do that for about two to three minutes. So I've already been prepped and ready for this, but uh, I'm gonna re-wet re 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 my face. So there we go. And the soap I'm gonna be using tonight is, oops. Uh, okay, 
Soap Commander Gusto. I have this and I have the uh, matching aftershave that I'm going to be using tonight. Where is my aftershave or my balm? Where did it go? Oh, hold on. Well, she can't find it. So I guess I'll use something else. In any case, um, this is Gusto and it's a raspberry lemonade. So I was in a desserty type of mood. So let's, I uh, bloomed the water and I'm going to use some more of this as pre-shave. Alrighty. Where the hell did that aftershave, I mean that balm go? I thought I had it in here. Alrighty, so let's take my Yaki Rainbow and wrung it out, left a little water in there because I like my lather a little bit uh, wetter. And I'll do about 15 seconds. All right, that looks like a good enough load on there. And I will take the pre-lather and use that. <laughs> That's enough soap to even do a full pass. It certainly is. Okay, rinse off my hands. I'm going to start lathering. Dip it in the water a little bit. That's weird. I just can't find it. Nice creamy lather that the Soap Commander makes. Very nice lather. Mmm, smells so good. Oh my god, you want to lick it? Ugh. Don't do that. <laughs> Not so good. Mmm, wait a minute. Not bad. And I'm not going to worry about a big, thick, rich, I mean, it's already cre nice and creamy. It's a very well-performing soap, and I like that Gusto. Okay, a little more water. Let's get a little translucent. A little more water. Oh, there, it's getting some shine to it. Look at that. And a little bit more water. Look at that, it looks like marshmallow cream. And this is where it's going to go all over the place. Oh, look at that. Look at that consistency. It's great. Okay. Clear the snot track. Cure the, cure the, blah, 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 blah. and let me wash my hands again. Cause I'm going to be dealing with the razor blade now. What I'm going to be putting in, and this is a three piece razor. It's got a long throw. And there's the bottom plate. And there is the top plate. And I am going to be using, um, when I've been reviewing some razors lately, I changed uh, the blades I was using. Uh, before that, I for the last, since January, I've been reviewing and journaling in uh, uh, Badger and Blade, my razor test, razor blade testing. So this is going back to it. And I'm right now in the process of reviewing a sample pack of all Russian blades. And now I am up to 
the uh, Rapira Swedish Stainless Steel. So that's what I'm going to be putting in the razor tonight. Rapira Stainless Steel. And there's the top cap. There's the bottom plate. And let's screw that little mother in there. All right, tight, but not real tight. And let's get ready for pass one. Here we go. Nice soap production. It's really gliding well. Oh, the soap commander is so nice. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. There's some of the repair blades I wasn't too keen on, but this one is nice. Very smooth and my uh, it's mild feeling, but it's cutting well. And what's great about open combs is it lets the lather slide through and leaves a little bit uh, left over to be able to go over the area again with no problem. So, and I love to buff anyway. It leaves the residual lather. Okay, over to the other side. And the razor has a little bit of overhang. It's not extreme, but there's enough to, you know, nail you on your ear or under your nose if you're not careful. You know, I don't know why people rag about, oh, overhang. I, you know... Three quarters of the razors we use have overhang. Get over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? My booboo's all healing up pretty well from the uh, palm fronds. <laughs> funny thing, well, not so funny, my niece and my sister were, and we were out in the backyard working, and I have nine palm trees, and they were trying to pull down some really long ones, and my niece uh, stabbed herself a couple times, so I doctored her up tonight. I was like, oh, you're just like your Aunt Jill. I'll tell you, that was one great first pass. I had a lot of growth in my trouble areas that you guys know I have right here and along here and here and here. Very heavy, dark, coarse hairs from my hormones. But that was a very close first pass. Hold on, I'll be right back. get my neck all cleaned up here okay that first pass was great this uh this razor is very nice i would say it was mid aggressive it's uh to me it's more aggressive than an uh edwin jagger de89 or the mccure 34c And a little water. <laughs> Marshmallow paste. This uh, Gusto that I bought with it was a special edition. It's the three ounce uh, jar and it was a great sale they had.
normally comes in like a six ounce tub, I think. Five ounce or six ounce. But. All right, let's put that brush down. Clear the snot track. And the luscious lips. And now I'm going to be concentrating on those problem areas. So these grow this way and this way. So technically that would be with the grain. Oh, and this is where I really get the opportunity, like I say, to use buffing because of the open comb aspect of the razor. Oh, that's nice. This is a nice little razor. Again, it's the Yaki DCL Open Comb. Now, I got it on eBay because I was having issues um, trying to sign in on my Yaki account. A lot of people seem to have that problem, too. So I just went to eBay. I paid more for the brush uh, than it would have been direct from Yaki. But I thought I would have less of a weight. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I get for thinking. Okay, wow. Wow. I love this racer. It's worth the money. I forget what it is um, uh, on the Yaki site itself. It's not very expensive, and that's what's great about Yaki. Um, Yaki, with their brushes and their razors, have made it uh, very easy to have quality products uh, without paying uh, quality prices. And I'm just going to do a pass up here because there's soap there and I like to play. Let's do it against the grain here. That soap is very protective to be able to just go right in there for me against the grain. Let's have a feel around. Very nice. Wow, I just want to keep playing. It works so good. I don't want the shave to be over, but I don't want to overshave. So we're also going to be going horseback riding, I think, and then go on a rock and climb uh, adventure. I will need about two weeks rest after they leave from all this activity on my body. Okay, let's just clean this up. That is beautiful. I'm telling you, this razor is worth the money. More than worth the money. Remember, Yaki DLC Open Comb. That's perfect. I like the mid-aggression and the efficiency of it. Okay. Hold on one second, and I'm going to rinse off. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, and now I'm going to do a quick cold rinse. This has got, that soap, that soap commander has wonderful post-shave feel. I could, I could go without 
any aftershaver balm. It's that good. Oh, I really like that. Great soap, soap commander. Okay. Dry off. And I am going to be using Thayer's um, Rose Witch Hazel from my little spritzer bottle. I always use Witch Hazel. Okay, let's help dry that along. I'll find that poche balm the second I walk out into the other room, I'm sure. It's not like I don't have other balm here. I will use one of my favorites. Let's see here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use Barbado. I love Barbado. This stuff is really great. It's good. It's a moisturizing razor bump therapy aftershave lotion. The smell is nothing to write home about. Shake it up good. Um, pretty much stinks in my opinion, but it works marvelously. Um, my sister got a um, mosquito bite on her neck, and she said, can you put some of that stuff you used that was so good on my neck to heal this up? And we did, and it worked wonders for her. Stopped her itching, softened it up, made it work good for her. Oh, that stuff is so good. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's a huge bottle. It's a 6.4 ounce bottle. So even if it was, I think it was like 21 bucks or something like that, but you get a five pack of razors with it, Barbadol razor blades with it, and it'll last twice as long as the other one because it has twice as much than most aftershave uh, bottles do. So let's cap that off. And let's use my Aqua Bella Sensitive 5-in-1 Post Shave Balm. Also a good product. Emulsify it. All right. So let me rinse my hands off. I'll be right back. Put my eyeballs on. Oh, there you are. So let's do a recap. Again, that was the Yaki DCL Open Comb Razor in lavender. And the brush of choice was my Yaki 26 millimeter rainbow pride brush. It's like a horsehair uh, imitation. This is a synthetic brush. And the soap I used was the Soap Commander Gusto. Very good. Very good soap. Very protective, great slickness, great poche feel. Wonderful soap. Love it. So I think that's it. I'm going to make this, uh, this is going to be my shortest video ever because I want to get back to my sister and my niece. And we're going to play some uh, games or whatever and maybe watch a movie or two. So huh, this probably won't get posted until tomorrow. Today is Friday night, so it'll take me a while to edit and uh, get it posted to YouTube. So it'll probably be in Saturday morning. So anyway, thank you for coming. And thank you for all your subscriptions. You guys have really rocketed me up there with those subscriptions, and I really appreciate it. And a lot of likes and comments. I like you guys to be interactive. So if you've got any questions or comments to make, please do it and uh, participate. That's why I do these videos. And I guess I'm going to call that a wrap. So everybody, I love you, and we'll see you.
soon, maybe. I don't know when, because they don't leave until the 31st. But uh, hopefully I'll get one up before then. So I will bid you adieu. Love you loads. Bye-bye.